Welcome back to Common Core 1.3 Part C. Now let me give you some inspirational things to see to get you started. Alright, inspired yet? Great. Let's go back to where we were. Now, if you remember, when we have something to the negative power, it has to switch places from top to bottom and bottom to top. But what do you do if you have them both as negative exponents? Well, what I would do is say, well, you have 6 to the negative 4, and that's going to go down the bottom. And then from the bottom, it's going to go to the top. So this goes here, and this goes here. So you have 6 to the 9th, 6 to the 4. Then who wins, top or bottom? Well, they fight it out, and top wins by 5. So that's one way of doing it. Or you could just say, well, instead of minus 9, the opposite of minus 9 is plus 9, and negative 4 plus 9 is 5. That's a faster way if you're comfortable with it. So it's up to you. <clears throat> now you try. Go ahead and try these three. Let's see how you did. Well, they switch places, so this becomes G 9 to the 6 down here. This becomes 9 to the 12th. So you have 12 up here and 6 down here, and they fight it out, and top wins by 6. Or you can just take negative 6 plus 12, and that makes positive 6 either way. Same deal here. I'm going to switch this to positive 41 down here, positive 93 here. And top wins by 52, so D to the 52. Here you have, uh, forget troll face, I think is his name. These put switch faces, 21 down here, 87 here. And top troll face wins by 66. So troll face. Yeah, like I'm actually going to draw a troll face. And then 66. There you go. Skills practice. Go ahead and give this a try. 5, Q, and Mario. Go ahead. Oh, and there's three more. So go ahead and try these three. I'll drop down and do these three. Okay. Looks like we have 5 to the 1st, or 5. This one we have Q to the 21st. We have Mario to the 220th. We have four, oh, 1 over 14 squared because the bottom one by 2. Here we have the bottom winning by 29, so 1 over R to the 29. And here, 1 over Link to the 112th. This is not Zelda, this is Link. Zelda's the princess he's always chasing. Or in the more gender neutral ones now, Zelda kicks behind herself, so that's fine. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go get a Nintendo, because that's where they're at. Anywho, now let's put this together. So you have 5v to the 8th, 15v to the 4th. Now we're going to do one thing at a time. Now we kind of hinted on this last time, but we're going to do more of this. I want you to separate the coefficients and the variables. Now what I mean by that is I want you to put 5 and 15 here. Remember that I can only divide by. I'm not trying to minus here. Well, divide both by 5. Here, I'm going to go ahead and take top divide. I mean, go ahead and have 8v's versus 4v's. So there's two separate things happening. So here I divide by 5, and I get 1 over 3. Here, the v's fight it out, and top wins by 4. Now, I simply combine to 1v to the 4th over 3, because that's all that's left. Now, I'm going to show you another way of doing that. You might like this better or worse. It's up to you. But if this helps you, no problem. Again, this was made for Algebra 1. I'm going to show you a way general math you might like a little better. That's completely up to you. If you prefer, instead of putting v to the 8th, you could do this. So v times v times v times v times v times v. I'm going to get to a point here. You're going to say, what? This looks like more work. Well, it's up to you. Instead of v to the 4th, you could just make 4 v's. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is you're going to say times, 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 because such means times. And you could just go ahead and cross out and say, okay, well, these v's cancel, these v's cancel, these v's cancel, these v's cancel. These both divide by 5. So I get 1, and there's 4 v's over 3. So no, however you want to play, it's up to you. By the way, v to the 4th or 1 v to the 4th is the same thing. So you try. Try these here. All right. Let's see how you did. 24 and 48 can be divided by 24. Uh, this gets transferred up to m to the 9th. So the way I, 
m to the fourth, excuse me, is going to become m to the ninth. So the way I see things, I get m to the ninth over two. Here, divide both these by two. This goes down, and I get seven over f to the twentieth. And here, I can divide both of these by five, so I'm going to get seven over eleven. I can divide, well, 22 versus 41, not divide, excuse me, they fight it out, and it looks like the bottom earth wins by, I believe, 19. So, I'm going to have 7 over 11 earth, kind of hard to draw the earth here, to the 19th. I believe that's right. 22 plus 19 makes 41. Okay, looks good. Hope I'm right. If not, you'll definitely let me know tomorrow. So skills practice, go ahead and try these six. So go ahead, take a look at these here, pause. Take a look at these three and pause. Let's see how you did. First set, looks like I got T to the 64 over 48. One over 2K to the 52. So I have 16 Patrick to the third over 61. If you don't know what that is, watch SpongeBob. Uh, here I have 11 over these cancel, so they went away, so I just have 11. Now, if you have 11 over u to the 0 or something like that, that's fine, too. But when you have the same variable on top and bottom, you can just cancel. Here I have 1 over 6 d to the 31st, and here I have 19 over m and m to the 46th. And more on this. Well, let's see what time we have. Oh, we got plenty of time, so we're going to be fine. This looks difficult, but it's just put them together. 1 fifth to the 5th and one-fifth to the negative third I want, and one-fifth to the negative fourth. So forget that it's a fraction for a minute, and just combine the top exponents. And what I mean by that is five and negative four, because they're the same base, even though they're a fraction, just take five minus four to make one. And here, you have negative three in the bottom. Well, negative means it's got to go on top. Since the bottom is a negative, exponent it switches sides. So instead of being on the bottom, it's going to go to the top, so you're going to add three more to your one, you're going to get one fifth to the fourth power. And why again? Because instead of negative three, it goes up and becomes positive three. So one fifth to the fourth, or one fifth times one fifth times one fifth times one fifth, which is one over 625. Now this might be difficult for some, but just imagine that if you would have tried to accomplish this the first day of class. Can you imagine? And now you can, or soon will. So it's what we're doing. This is common core. It's a little harder. Now take a look here, the same idea. 1 6 to the 4th times 1 6 to the negative 12th over 1 6 to the negative 3rd looks hard, but all the bases are the same. So 4 minus 12, 4 minus 12, it's going to be negative 8 for now. And this is negative 3, so they switch a roux. So 3 is going to go on top, 8 is going to go on the bottom like this. They're going to fight it out. Who wins? Bottom wins by 5. So really, 1 over 1 6 to the 5th power. <sighs> And you can put it like that, and you probably want to keep it like this, because it also could be 1 over 1 over 6 to the 5th, which is going to get a little tricky. And later I'm going to teach you that 1 over 1 to the 6 to the 5th means 6 to the 5th. Next page. So now try these. And so you have 1 7 to the negative 3rd, 1 7 negative 4th, 1 7 to the 5th. Go ahead and we're going to try to solve that. Two thirds, two thirds, two thirds, solve that. Just two of them. So go ahead and let's see how you do. Well, negative three and negative four are going to combine to make negative seven. So you have negative seven here. It's going to cancel out. This goes to the bottom. So you're going to have one seventh over. Excuse me, that goes to the bottom. Excuse me. One over one seventh to this plus seven to the twelfth. It's easy to get crossed up on this stuff. And two-thirds to the negative five, two-thirds to the negative six, combine these two to make negative 11. They switch sides. This becomes positive 11. This becomes positive 13. 13 versus 11, top ones by two. So two-thirds square, or you could just put four-ninths. This is a little harder. And we're going to go ahead and conclude here. Obviously, I have a little bit of patching up to do. There's going to be a couple of scenes that were cut and shortened. That's okay. Uh, I had to do a little bit of revision to make sure it's not too confusing. We're definitely going to do more of this tomorrow. Thanks again. Bye.